Bharat Jagdev says everything he do is for the people of this country. And the people who flocking Glen Lal are criminals that have a history of duping people. What I do here is not for Kaichor News. I do it for the people of this country because Kaichor News will continue to distort. They will continue to distort because you have a politician who is using the newspaper as his campaign tool. And watch out for it. It's going to happen. At some point in time, we've heard this before from everyone. It's going to launch a party and you're going to see a flocking of the crooks together. All of the flood sams and jet sams will come out and you will see that all have a history because I've seen some of them already. They all have a history of duping people or some of the most criminal past that they've had. Now, tell me who duping who? 1999 August, he turned president. Months after, GPC worth billions that used to make Wiz, Feral, Limacal, etc. Bringing in US millions into this country's treasury. Gone to his friend for next to nothing. TV, radio and cable license he give to his friend and favorites. And the biggest private media houses, like the Kaicho News and the Starbrook News, were bluntly refused. Sanata Complex, worth billions. He took hundreds of millions of taxpaying dollars to repair and renovate the complex. Then it landed in his friend hands for next to nothing. All through his presidency, this man's friend was given almost all the drug contracts worth billions to the Ministry of Health. Hmm. You don't want to hear the prices he was selling the drugs to the Ministry for. As for the state lands and other state properties, man, you don't want to know where, what, and how much was given to his friend, friends, families, and favorites all across this country. It's too much. The GT&T 20% shares in which Guyana just had to stretch out their hand and collect two, three million US a year landed in people's hand. And on to now, none of us, none of us know whose hands it landed. But those individuals just stretching out them hand, collecting what Guyana used to collect every year. Wanna hear more? He took the same money from the sale of the GT and T20% shares and put it to help build the Marriott Hotel. Now, the Marriott making real money, he is snatching it away from our hands, putting it, it into somebody else's hand. He think we born April 1st, and he born when sense was sharing. The Barbies Bridge was built. The bulk of the money came from NIS. His friend ended up being the largest single private shareholder in it, collecting the hog of the profits, more profits than NIS. The border cricket ground was going in the same friend hand too. Luckily, somebody sent me a copy of the proposal a friend sent in at the time. And when I bust the bag, 
them run and left it. Guyana should thank Glen Lal for that ground still standing there in our hands. The biggest dupe Guyanese get from Barra Jagdale was when he said in opposition he will renegotiate all those oil contracts. Because that was never in their plan. Today, today, what happened? All the money-making machine that belongs to all of us, gone, gone, gone. Going, going, going from we hand. And he's working in the best interests of the people of Guyana. You gotta love this man named Barajagbe, right? Eh?